I think that every single married couple, no matter how old you are, need to keep short accounts because the longer you sweep things under the carpet, the less likely you're going to talk about it until it's too late or you're in serious counseling and there's a lot of tension and anger and bitterness that's built up for a long time. People are pretty quick to admit to things that are pretty obvious. They'll say, yeah, I've got an anger problem or I've got a spending problem. But then their spouse says, yeah, but you've also got this that you didn't mention. And the this might very well be the real key to solving the problem because they probably didn't think that it was a major issue when in fact it's a gnarling issue to the spouse and one that the spouse has been harboring. Years ago, I took my wife on a walk or maybe we were out someplace and I said, I want to ask you a question. I said, in our marriage, what is it that I do that bothers you that you've never really told me or talked much about that maybe you're harboring? And without hesitation, she said, you know, whenever we're in a crowd, particularly around a, a people at church, you're the big guy. You're, you're, the, you're the pastor and everybody wants your opinion. And as soon as church is over, whatever, everybody's gathered around you. Or we could be in a small group. Everybody wants to know your opinion. And I feel left out. I've got an opinion too. Uh, I, I've been to Bible college. As a matter of fact, you've only been to two years of Bible college and I've been to four years of Bible college. She reminds me of that from time to time. So uh, I begin to realize, do I really do that? Sure enough, I just, my tendency, my personality is just to walk right in and sort of take over. Meanwhile, she's standing behind me all this time through the years thinking, what part do I even play in this? And we've got a good marriage, but that was something she was harboring. We had to talk through that. And I've had to make a conscious effort that when I'm in a crowd and she's there, that I bring her into the picture.